Hi, I'm Steve Casely from CBT Nuggets, and this micro nugget is focused on velocity, or more specifically, velocity for Scrum Agile development. So what is this funny term called velocity? The best I can come up with is velocity is the delivery capacity of the team per sprint. It's how much work the team gets done on average per sprint. And to me, the focus on velocity is it's a team capacity. It's not Betty's capacity. It's not Sally's capacity. It's not Tom's capacity. It's the collective capacity of the entire team. The team can do so much work per sprint, and that's our velocity. How do we measure this capacity? Typically, we measure the capacity in this thing called a story point. A story point is the amount of effort to complete a story. So how do we determine story point? Story points, as I said, is a standardized measure of the effort for the team. Let's again refocus that this is based on the team as compared to a baseline. There is no standard universal measure that says a story point is because each team in each organization is going to have its own standardized measure. And I hope this isn't putting you off because it really isn't that complex. Let's see how it works. We establish a baseline for our project. Typically, we establish a baseline as the most simple story we can imagine that the project is ever going to take on, that this team is ever going to take on. So I'm suggesting the most simple story we're going to have in our project is a menu. And we establish the baseline, and typically we say the baseline is one story point. And then we simply compare our best guess estimate for all of the other stories. So compared to this baseline story, this most simple thing I could ever have to do, this menu, how complex is the next story? My next story is a very simple selection. I'm going to pop up a, a screen. It's going to have a single field on it, and it's going to say, please enter a customer number. So it's a very simple selection. So how complicated is that one? How much effort is that one compared to my simple story? Well, it's a little more complex than this simple one. Mm, it's going to take, uh, let's say, it's going to take twice as much work to do this simple selection as my story menu, so it's going to get a two story point estimate. And then we come to our next story. My next story is going to have some simple edits on it. So I'm going to have the ability to enter my customer's name, my customer's address. I'm going to do some rudimentary edits and validation on the customer's address. I have a phone number. I'm going to do numeric validation on the phone numbers and so on and so on. So it's certainly more complex than a, a display. And therefore, we're going to say, OK, my simple menu was a one story point. A, this is a, oh, let's just throw it out there and say this is going to be four story points of effort. And again, it's just my standardized measure of my specific team's capacity to do work as compared to the baseline. And we're going to fix and revise this and improvement as we go along. So we come to our next story. And this is a real nasty story. It's very complex. I have many tables. I have some complex edits. I have to do a lot of calculations. This one is really nasty. This one is not just double that one. This one is going to be, it's going to be, oh, it's, oh, I think it's a good 16 times as complicated as my most simple menu. So again, we establish our baseline, the most simple thing we're going to do, and then we simply ask the team how much work is going to do to do these other stories, every other story, in comparison to the baseline. And this one was twice as complicated, this one was four times, and this one was six times as complicated. And, and, I, and I deliberately used the 2, 4, 16 because we, we typically do not get into a lot of granularity when we're doing our story point validation. We typically either follow this thing called the doubling principle or this thing called the Fibonacci sequencing where we go simple is one, 
the next up is a 2, the next up is a 4, then we double it to an 8, we double it to a 16, we double it to a 32, and we double it to a 64, or the Fibonacci is much the same. It has an established sequence of we go 1, 2, 3, 8, 13, 20, and so on. And the reason we want to go with a principle like doubling or Fibonacci is it's not precise. And you may say, well, Steve, you're estimating. Why do we want it to be precise? We don't have the details to be precise. We have a high level story definition. So therefore, we want to get a rough order of magnitude of the effort for the story points, and then we're going to make it better. And how do we make it better? We simply establish the velocity of the team over time. We track the results. Maybe we put a graph together that says for sprint one, sprint two, sprint three, sprint four, I was able to do 16 story points. I was able to, so we're going to begin to get an appreciation of the team's capacity and our ability to assign the story points to the stories based on our degree of complexity. If we don't like the graphs, we're going to produce a table and that's going to allow us to do the averages and the means and the maxes so that we're going to use it to establish what our true project's capacity is going to be. Once we have a lot of sprints under our belt, this is a great way to go. But early in the sprint, when we've got only one sprint under our belt, two sprints under our belt, we don't have this degree of history. So often we simply use the last sprint. The last sprint, the team got 13 story points done. So therefore, let's assume all things being equal, we're going to get 13 story points the next sprint. And this is often referred to in the Agile principles as using yesterday's weather to predict today's weather. It was sunny yesterday, it's as likely to be sunny tomorrow. Or it was 13 story points last sprint, it's as likely to be 13 story points this sprint. And adjust for very special conditions. You know you have a series of holidays coming up, you have company events coming up, you know yesterday's weather is not going to be an appropriate predictor, we need to adjust down or up as appropriate, but typically we're going to adjust down for these special events. And this concludes our discussion on velocity. Velocity is the measure of each unique team's capacity to complete stories. We typically measure velocity in terms of story points. We estimate our story points based on a very broad level estimation of complexity, and then we refine and improve our ability to estimate the story points, and we refine and improve our ability to track velocity, to measure velocity, and we refine this over time as we go forward. I hope this has been informative for you, and thank you very much for viewing.